Good afternoon, South Tech. I'm Ulysses Vega. And I'm Jose Gomez Miguel. And this is the BNN. The Bulldog News Network. Today, we'll bring you an awesome battle of the teachers. Some of our academy students decided to put Mr. and Mrs. Bro in a little head-to-head -head competition. Let's take a look what happens. Hi, this is Patricia Santos reporting from the BNN, and we went out to find Mr. and Mrs. Bro to allow them to compete in the first Battle of the Math Teachers. What's the angle between the minute hand and the hour hand at a quarter past three? A quarter past three. 90 degrees? Nope. Quarter past three is zero degrees. 90 degrees. John has been hired to paint the numbers one through 100 on 100 apartments. How many times will he have to paint eight? Eleven. The number eight? How many times? Well, let's see. One, two, three, four, eight. ten times. Nope. 12 times. If you randomly choose one of the following answers to this question. No. Go back. Eight. Let's see, there are 10 numbers, eight, eight and 80. So then you take that away from the 10 numbers that it would take from there, so that would be 19 numbers. No. Okay. Okay. So if, 19 or 20. If you randomly choose one of the following answers to this question. What is your chance of getting it right? A, 50%, B, 25%, C, 0%, and D, 75%. It's 25%. If you randomly choose it, it's one out of four, so it would be 25%. Zero. What number do you get when you multiply all the numbers on a telephone number pad? A really large number. Uh, you would get I, I don't know. A hobo picks up cigarette buds from the ground and can make a cigarette with four buds. If he finds 16 cigarette buds, how many cigarettes can he make? So he made one cigarette out of four cigarette buds. He's got 16 of them, so he can make four cigarettes. Cigarettes can you make. Uh, you have two books. One of them is upside down and the other is rotated, so the top of the book is facing you. What is the sum of the first page in each book? Two. Two. If one plus nine plus eight equals one, what is two plus eight plus nine? One plus nine plus eight. Equals one. What is two plus eight plus nine? Two. Ten. Does a ton of feathers or a ton of bricks weigh more? This has been Patricia Santos reporting from the BNN. Hey South Tech, are you guys inviting friends and family members to our last recruitment night? If not, you may want to consider it. South Tech is awarding current enrolled students prizes for the people that you refer to our school. Prizes include Donuts for the second period class that sends in the most referrals. Also, the individual student who sends in the most referral wins a $50 American Express gift card. The referral must be filled out with the following information. Name of guest, referred by, and your period two teacher. Please fill out the following so that your referral counts. Maybe that $50 American Express gift card could be used to buy some donuts. Thanks, South Tech. Well, on to another story that deals with everybody's differences. Our school is full of diverse students and teachers. And our diversities and differences are what makes every single one of us unique. Don't judge me because I'm black. Don't judge me because of the way that I talk. Don't judge me because I wear glasses. Don't judge me because I'm tall. Don't judge me because I wear weave. Don't judge me because I'm gay. Don't judge me because I'm Hispanic. Don't judge me because I'm petite. Don't judge me because I'm a super senior. Don't judge me because I'm pansexual. Don't judge me because I can't eat gluten. Don't judge me because I'm lesbian. Don't judge me because I'm an atheist. 
Don't judge me because I'm short. Dear students, faculty, and staff, you are officially and enthusiastically invited to our RRA semester concert. Come and support your students at Lafayette's Music Room in City Place, West Palm Beach. Enjoy great music, great food, and good company. If you would like to support our program, tickets can be purchased for $6 through current music students, or there will be a South Tech Academy faculty and staff VIP list at the door for free admission. Please contact Sandy Haygood with any questions or needs. Thank you. Guess what's back? I know, what you said. Yeah, man, I'm so excited about what you said, bro. Wait, wait where are you going? Uh, I, I, don't worry about it. I, I'll be back. Like, I, I got something to do. All right, I guess. It's South Tech. I'm back here with another episode of What You Said, and this week is tons of puns. Why aren't koalas considered bears? I don't know. It's because they probably don't eat meat. All they eat is leaves. So. Because they, because they live in trees. Since when is koalas considered bears? They're not. Well, but why? Why? I don't know. They're little fuzzy things. They. <laughs> Right. What dries as it gets wet? What dries when it gets wet? What dries when it gets wet? Um, a towel? A towel? Spell top. Top? Yeah, like top. T O P. Spell it four times. T O P, T O P, T O P, T O P. Say it four times. Top, top, top. What do you do at a green light? Stop. Oh, wait, go. <laughs> Can you point to Iowa? Well, I guess that's it for this episode of What You Said. Hope it wasn't too punny for you. Well, just glad a cat ain't here because it would have been a catastrophe. I'm just kidding around. Anyway, at least it was a perfect joke. Thank you guys for tuning in. I don't know where it is. Do you know what California is? No. I don't know where it is. I'm serious. California? Come on, this. Texas. Oh, Texas. Okay. All right, wait, wait. Okay, at least you know where you are. Hey, weren't you just on the what you said? What you talk? I was just at work. You know what? Never mind. I it. Okay. Oh. Well, thank you for tuning in to the BNN, the Bulldog News Network. Have, Have a, a great, great day, South Tech. Tech.